Shaman King 2021 is back again this week with a banger of an episode that puts Tauren directly against his father in a battle for the Tau legacy. So, let's talk about Shaman King. Yo and Ren prepare to meet Tao Wen in battle as the evil patriarch of the Tao family continues to test the will of his son. And before we get going with this review, let me just warn you that there will be spoilers as there always are for these weekly reviews of Shaman King. And also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Why don't you consider clicking the subscribe button? It does wonders to help the channel. And while you're down there, let me know what you've been thinking of the show thus far and what you thought of this episode of Shaman King start the conversation, it is always the most important part. And if you've been following these or any of my reviews for a while, you know how usually it works. I start out with the things that I really liked on an episode or in a movie and then I go to my issues. This week I'm going to start with an issue because I really wanted this to last one episode longer or at least half an episode longer because one of the great things that this episode does is when Ren and Yo get to where Ryu and Horohoro were fighting the invincible squad turns out all the members except for the leader they were just decoys for our heroes to feel relaxed and let their guard down for their leader who turns out is Pai Long's former master Shamon in a new younger body, a mutated corpse that is just going to annihilate them all because he's too damn powerful. I really like that. I really like that Pylon comes to the rescue and does defeat his master, but I wish we could have lingered a little bit more on that fight and on the emotionality of that fight because they do that really well early on when the two of those characters meet and Pylong is an evil force and they have to yoiga tie his master into Yo's body and they even call back to that but it's just very quick to be done with unfortunately and I wish they could have capitalized the emotionality that naturally comes with a face-off like this. Nevertheless, what this episode does focus on is really great with all of our heroes together fighting Tao Wen, who is just a beast. The dude's default mode is beast mode. He easily dismisses Ryu and Horohoro, Pylong and even Yo himself. They stand no shot at this and we have some really great moments because throughout this as he's jobbing all those guys out, Ren is sometimes paralyzed with fear and this dude keeps teasing his son about the legacy of Tao and about the path that Ren has now decided to go in of embracing friends and not being evil, not being consumed or dominated and commanded by hatred, the hatred that his father has instilled in him throughout his entire life and how that does not live up to the legacy of Tao. And I really like that. I really like that this episode focuses on what his father has been indoctrinating into Ren ever since he was born. And this is really about Ren carving a path of his own, maybe changing the legacy of Tao family and how his father does not believe this is the correct way of doing it. And he just wants to boss his son around for his son to do the exact same thing. Thing. Another thing that is really great is that eventually Ren doesn't necessarily win against his father through brute force or through shamanic abilities even, but he outsmarts him. He starts to play mind games with his father in reverse and that creates doubt in his own father's mind, so much so that that giant body obviously is revealed to be just the use of Tao En's over soul and when he goes to punch Ren his hand becomes transparent becomes a spirit and he cannot touch him and we finally see the true body the true look 
of Tao Wen and how he has used over 2,000 souls of the Tao family through the years to seem very powerful. I mean, he is very powerful, but to have that look of being this huge giant dude. <laughs> and he's got this really cool armor on that are all memorial plates of his ancestors, and that's how he uses the souls of his ancestors to give him power to always be surrounded by them, which it's a great strategy up until now you can't argue with results <laughs> and so tao wen prepares for a final attack he summons all the souls into the ren sword the horai sword if i'm not mistaken which we'll get into by the end of this episode he summons all of them into this sword to attack ren and his friends he basically summons a dragon version of his giant self to attack ren but Ren just summons on Basson, and with one punch, boom, he goes down. After this comes my general issue with how this story was just written originally, and they have to adapt it, and I fully respect that they have to adapt it if they want to keep it very faithful to the manga. I never like how this fight ends, just with the grandfather of Ren and the mother of Ren coming in and say, hey, you lost. Stop it! <laughs> it just all feels very underwhelming, it feels very sudden, it also feels like why didn't you intervene earlier? Can't you defeat him? Because they never answer that question. If they can't defeat Tao Wen, that's fine. I, I understand why they didn't interfere before I intervened to stop him, but why right now? At this very moment, things were about to get hot and the grandfather interrupted. A really funny scene is when the father say, hey, you stop it right now or I will shoot you. And he he, he, he puts out a gun, pointed at the Tao Wen. And of course, he invites all our heroes to dinner. Everyone is surprised how rich Ren is and how amicable the Tao family actually is. And I really like the story that the grandfather tells of the legend of the Tao family. Why are they known for being a super evil clan amongst China? And he even talks about the location of their mansion. There was always just a matter of perspective. I really like how they dive into this legacy and how Ren from now on can change that legacy. To the point where when Ren tries to disrespect his grandfather, he pulls out the gun again, pointing at him and I'm like, why do we have guns in Shaman King? <laughs> Nevertheless, our episode ends with our heroes going back to Japan, Horohoro, Ryu, Manta and Yo on a bus and Ren on his own on his steroid horse going through the fields and his father goes after him and he transfers the sword onto Ren showing that he now trusts his son to carve out his own legacy without diminishing the respect, the power, the weight that comes with a Tao name. So again, I really like this episode. The fight itself is awesome, how we dive into character, the relationship between father and son, the themes of legacy and carving out your own path for the future are all really, really good. I wish it could have been longer. I wish you could have maybe stopped midway through the fight with a big reveal that Tao was using an oversoul to show his quote-unquote body. Then we cut there and then next week we have a little bit more of the fight and obviously by the end of this episode the shaman fight is starting. They're being all summoned for the shaman fight. So directly we're going into the next arc. That is awesome. That is really good. I really like an episode ending an arc and by the time it finishes, hey, Here's what we're going to do next already. That's all really good. I just wish they would have had a little bit more of a breath. I know that's an issue most people are having with the show in general. I've had it in an episode here and there, how they distribute their pacing. It's not something that, for me at least, is ruining the show. In this one, I felt a little bit, not that it makes it a bad episode, I just think it could have been an even better episode if they had just slow down a little bit, focus more on that master versus apprentice fight, and then move on to the father versus son fight. 
but overall a really fun action-packed and character focused episode once more of Shaman King and those are my thoughts but what did you think did you like it hate it love it adore it let me know all of that in the comments below go down there start the conversation not just with me but with one another let me know all you think so far in the comments below thank you so much for watching and if you've watched this far don't forget to click the subscribe button if you've watched this far you enjoy the video on some level do not lie to yourselves my friends you guys are the best I'll be back very soon with my reviews you cannot check out my review of Luca which is now also streaming on Disney Plus so you can watch the movie yourself and so until the next one love each other and love the movies